One of the best free agents going into this offseason that is about to start up is Bengals wide receiver T. Higgins. And I think that wherever he lands could be actually very impactful for the situation of these teams. And I really think there's three that have a possible chance that would be a good fit for him. And obviously the first one is for him to stay with the Cincinnati Bengals. From the sources that I've looked at, this is the most likely scenario where he has, you know, it just seems like he, he's most likely going to stay here, but there's also other things that could happen. And if they want to give him a deal uh, and they want agree, to agree on a contract, they could always franchise tag him. Now, if they were to franchise tag T. Higgins and he ended up, you know, holding out, it, it could be a possibility. But I think that they will tag him if they th there's scenarios where they don't because I think you have guys like Mixon who are up you could tag him or maybe they just really have a conversation where he wants to leave but I think he's really big for the Cincinnati Bengals just because Jamar Chase is obviously a star but it, you know it having that second really good receiver really helps out the entire offensive passing game it opens up Jamar Chase a little bit more not that he you know he needs all the help but it makes his job a little bit easier and T Higgins is uh you know he, he's a really good receiver talent you know I think what you look back to is in that Super Bowl uh when they when they needed to make like a big deep shot play T Higgins was the guy that made that play that only a guy like T Higgins can make where he's able you know he's just a much taller than the average defender that he's going to go up against he's going to be able to go up and get that ball so if Cincinnati were to lose him, you know, I, I'm not sitting here saying that Cincinnati wouldn't be able to win the title next year, but I think it would, you know, have a diminishing effect on their, their opportunity to do so. I think he's a big part of what can make that offense go round a little bit. Obviously, they could still be good. They could still make a great run without him, but I think he's a key piece, and that's why I think the Bengals are one option where and the most likely landing spot. But then there are two more teams that I think have the possibility to pick him up. And the next one that would make a lot of sense is the Jacksonville Jaguars. People forget, you know, he played with Trevor Lawrence. And can you imagine how lethal that team would be in Jacksonville if he went there? You would have T. Higgins, Calvin Ridley. It, it, it would be ETN, the back. You would have a really lethal team, Zay Jones. It would be maybe the best for passing attack in the NFL at that point, or at least one of them, if they were able to get him. And I think it's more of a possibility than people think, because I'm sure the Jags could find a way to pull it off. And T. Higgins, Trevor Lawrence just have that connection. They played with each other in college and I'm sure that if he had if there was a situation where he wasn't getting the deal by the Bengals why would he not want to go back to his college quarterback where he had a lot of success so Jacksonville is definitely an option and also I think that makes them a the the addition of T Higgins to Jacksonville would make them a sure playoff team I think I think that in my like if they're not going to win the division they're a sure playoff team if they get T Higgins, I, I th and I think that they maybe have a chance to run to be like super good, but a sure playoff team with T Higgins. And then the last team that I think could possibly make a run at T Higgins, and this would be this would be ridiculous. I don't even know if the league can let this happen, but if T Higgins went to the Kansas City Chiefs to join Patrick Mahomes, obviously they've been looking for a wide receiver for. A while now to replace Ty a guy like Tyreek Hill, and if they could get him on somewhat of a reasonable deal, can you imagine Patrick Mahomes and T. Higgins? It it would change the game for them. They would be my pick to win the Super Bowl next year if they can bring him in. If they already aren't, but he, you know, Mahomes is able to do it. He's able to win back to back Super Bowls with a la last luck to, uh receiving crew. And if you're able to bring in a guy like T. Higgins, this is gonna this is gonna just make them tremendously better team. Which would be ridiculous. So those are the three teams that I think have a possibility. Um 
I would probably, I think Jacksonville would be the most entertaining. Uh, if you went to the Chiefs, it would probably be where he would take his absolute next step for himself in, in his career because he'd be the he'd be the unquestioned number one there, and he would probably end up going to the Super Bowl, winning the Super Bowl. So that would probably be the best move for his career. I think he would have to take a bit of a pay cut there, cut there. And I think Cincinnati, there's a route to a title as well. But he is always going to. The problem with him being in Cincinnati is he's going to be second fiddle to Jamar Chase as long as he stays there. Which yeah, Jamar Chase is a tremendous receiver talent. But I think that you know we owe uh, he would owe it to himself to see what he can do as the pure number one receiver on a team.